Beautiful Vietnamese women in Ao Yai. Beautiful Vietnamese women walked back home. The beauty of Vietnam from thousands of generations will not fade. This is a paragraph in the song Vietnamese Ao Yai, composed by Joe Marcel, a Vietnamese American artist who was quite famous before 1975. For a long time, the traditional dress has been the inspiration for many Vietnamese and international music composers. Nowadays, the beauty of the Ao Yai extends beyond the borders of Vietnam. A lot of foreign friends also wear Ao Yai in some cultural exchange events between Vietnam and other countries, or international beauty contests held in Vietnam. Not only that, the Ao Yai is also used by fashion designers to create and develop, such as Lismari Ranjarf, a young female artist from Estonia. The love for Ao Yai has helped her create her own Ao Yai and showcase those designs at Ho Chi Minh City's Ao Yai Festival in 2018 and 2019. Welcome to Shine Vietnam on VTC10 at the channel. Ladies and gentlemen, we just watched a short clip about the Vietnamese traditional dress, the Ao Yai, which is loved around the world. So today, we're going to have a conversation with Estonian artist to know more about her love for Vietnam and for the dress. Thank you for being our show, Lizzie. Hello, Cynthia. Uh, my name is Lizzie. I'm from Estonia and uh, welcome to see my home studio today. I'm an artist uh, living and working in uh, Vietnam, Ho Chi Minh City. Dear Lizzie, so you've joined in the Ao Yai Festival in both 2018 and 2019 and you got into the finals both times and got prizes for it. What was your decision to join the festival and how did you feel when your Ao Yai design got so much love and attention from everyone? Firstly, because I wanted to showcase my work. I was uh, prepared those patterns already before and used as a scarf. But then I start to have an idea to use them on a dress and uh, this competition looked like the perfect uh, place to uh, show my work and also get the experience and uh, feedback from the competition. I was really uh, surprised and really, really happy to see that uh, uh, the judges and also the people uh, give me so positive feedback and I, I get like um, really warm feeling in a heart to see that. So how about the ideas behind the two designs of both times? The inspiration comes from uh, the idea to make like a cultural creative exchange. Mm -hmm. So I like to introduce uh, my country culture through mm -hmm. Aoyai also to Vietnamese people and when I bring uh, the Aoyai back to Estonia I like to introduce uh, Vietnamese culture through that. So uh, first, uh, 2018 was inspired by uh, Vietnamese nature, mm -hmm. the colors of uh, lotus flower, mm -hmm. what is so traditional and beautiful uh, symbol of Vietnam. And uh, 2019 was inspired uh, by uh, Estonia. I wanted to introduce the nature and uh, some local uh, traditions and uh, customs through my dresses. So how did you first know about the Vietnamese Ao Yai and what was your first impression about it? First uh, time I uh, was introduced to Ao Yai six years ago on uh, 2014 uh, because my husband is Vietnamese and I come to visit uh, their family. So his mother uh, let uh, tailor-made uh, two Ao Yais for me and I uh, used them for a special occasion in uh, 
in here in Vietnam and also use them later in my own country for uh, university graduation. And uh, I feel so beautiful. I put them on and I feel like this is it. This is the most beautiful uh, dress I have uh, ever wear. Like, I instantly uh, fell in love with it. I think uh, the Aoyai is uh, very beautiful. It brings out the uh, beautiful curves of a woman and it highlights uh, every woman in the best way it can. So do we have to choose the rec seal to put the colors on? Mostly I use uh, silk satin and also some lighter silks. So I cannot use like um, very, very thin fabrics, for example. Some fabrics are not good for my color, that uh, my color will not start to flow naturally. So I have to test a lot of silk to get uh, this kind of very pure silk, what will uh, let my color to spread well and also good for making it into a dress. So as a foreigner, do you find any difficulties to get to know and work on a traditional Vietnamese dress? I mean, of course, about tailoring, uh, especially if I want to tailor it myself, then I still need to learn a lot. Uh, about the design, I have watched uh, about history and I learn a bit, a bit and also uh, go to the course to listen about it and I'm really, really interested in it. So I think it's not uh, hard to access the information and also if I just walk out uh, from the house, I can see AI everywhere. So I can see now that you're wearing your own design. So can you tell us more about your inspiration and uh, the idea behind this design? Like I said before, it's like a cultural exchange idea. So with that one, I like to introduce uh, my country, Estonia, uh, what is uh, in the north of Europe. And we have a very beautiful uh, national flower in a blue color. It's called a corn flower. And also all of the colors I use is actually our flag colors. So Estonian flag is blue, black and white. And all of this uh, looks really familiar to Estonian. If they, like I have also uh, went to Estonia wearing this and in a national occasions. And I got a lot of uh, positive feedback because they instantly feel connected to the flag colors and then they come to ask me what, what is this uh, beautiful dress uh, uh, that they have never seen anything like that and then I have uh, of course a chance to explain uh, about Vietnam and its traditional dress. The relationship between Lisi and Vietnam stemmed from her meeting with her husband, Arias Ngoc Chan. After coming to Vietnam many times with her husband, Lisi was fascinated by the beauty of his homeland. And the most fascinating thing was the Vietnamese traditional dress. Before coming to Vietnam, Lisi has loved painting silks. Every silk she painted was like a vivid chorus of colors. And after moving here, the land and people brought even more creative inspiration to her silk. And then the symphony of colors was applied to her aoyai. Lisi has also participated in some competitions or aoyai performances and organized workshops to share her passion for silk and aoyai to Vietnamese and foreign friends. Yes, it's 
uh, interesting to see how these color patterns are made and achieved. Like today we used uh, actually water to spread out the color and also used salt for example to make interesting patterns. So now I know a little bit more how these uh, patterns are achieved. My idea for the scarf today was uh, I wanted in the middle of my scarf to be a red sun uh, which is surrounded by other sun or stars. Having decided to come here and live with your husband and your husband's family, do you find any challenges at all to adapt to the life and the culture here? The most of the challenges, I think, uh, related to the climate, of course, because I come from a northern country and uh, we have a more cold weather, and, but here it's very bright, very sunny, hot and humid. So uh, getting used to the environment takes a lot of time and also the city life, because I have never lived in a so big city, <laughs> like Ho Chi Minh City. I uh, used to live close to the nature, so it took me uh, also some time to find uh, my place in this city. How about the people and the country of Vietnam? Have they brought you any feelings or inspiration in art? I think uh, Vietnamese are very friendly and uh, they try to always uh, come to compromise and uh, talk to each other. So. I don't have any really big cultural problem in that way, no. Uh, most of the inspiration about Vietnam still come from the nature, like uh, you have so rich nature here, you can go to the park or, or if you're just a little bit out of the city you can see more. Mm -hmm. And also the cultural uh, meaning of AUI actually inspires me because uh, uh, also, in my family, traditions are very important. Uh, we are like uh, three generations of artists uh, in my family. And uh, I feel that if I uh, start to make Taoya, I feel more connected also to the tradition in here and uh, to the culture. And it also inspires me to learn more about Vietnamese culture. So as we know, you're currently operating a lot of workshops to show people how to do your style of art. Um, so can you tell me more about the workshop as well as do you meet any challenges while um, holding the workshops for the people? Yes, I'm also art teacher and I'm making workshops about introducing this uh, silk painting technique. And I have get uh, mostly positive feedback, uh, of course, and like people are interested in this um, medium because they haven't uh, tried this way of uh, painting yet and it's uh, something new and uh, and uh, interesting to, to bring and to teach them and of course uh, I'm sharing about my style of working but I think it's important to share the knowledge and uh, I, I am still developing uh, my uh, brand, my fashion brand in my way and how someone else who learned my technique uh, will do they will do in their way. <laughs> All right, so can you tell us more about your upcoming general plan in Vietnam in the future? Currently my uh, first idea is to uh, make uh, the first uh, collection of fully hand-painted AI using uh, good quality Vietnamese silk mm -hmm. and after that uh, we are also thinking of becoming a fashion brand like having also other clothing items mm -hmm. beside AI. Thank you, Lizzie, so much for being here with us today. Thank you for watching. That is the end of our show. Thank you for watching. Goodbye and see you again.